strangers in your child's room? Would you leave your house doors wide with a sign that says, just come inside, and an arrow that points to your child's room with no thought of any evil or impending doom? I don't think that you would, but that's what we do when we give them smartphones and tablets too. They have their devices to do what they please, and strangers come in their rooms with ease. The multiple apps they install from the web give access to strangers right in their bed. Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook and more. We let evil come right through the front door. We think that they're home and that they are secure. A false sense of security. Oh, they're behind a closed door. But that's so not true. There's more to be said. Do you know what your child does when you go to bed? They may hook up with family and friends from school, but sexting, live streaming and porn are more cool. The online predators don't care about gender or age. They befriend them and soon that sets the stage. For many a child will fall for this trick when asked by a stranger to send them a pic. Where bullying and body shaming online occur, our children have a problem. Do you concur? Yes, this is scary. The things left unseen by parents who don't look at their child's screen to investigate, question, and probe what they see. For these days, YouTube is as bad as TV. The games that they play to shoot and to kill, the music they listen to can make you feel ill. The images, messages, and videos they share. As a parent, I'm sure you'll pull out your hair. But all is not lost. There's hope for them yet. Ask God for discernment. Good parents get set. For just as God gave laws to keep us in check, you too will have to set laws, rules, and vet. Sometimes you have to take the devices away and treat them like children of back in the day, where parents had strict rules for their child. Not how children these days are left to run wild. God wants us to be good stewards of our progeny. By God's grace, we'll guide them, good adults to be. The lessons they'll learn, we teach them by faith. Please do it right now, before it's too late. Our children are a heritage from the Lord. Keep the strangers out. Let's get on board. Let children know that you care for their soul and that heaven should be their main goal. So let's monitor the use of the internet then. Set a good example. Don't just be your child's friend. For just as we don't want strangers to come in, help our children this technology battle to win.